Hello, this is another installment of Flaky Cypress exercises with a solution with me and this is level 9. So I'm gonna run the test 10 times again just to see the flake and maybe solve it. I already started the application, now let's open Cypress, run end-to-end -end tests using Electron Browser. Let's see if we can find a failed test. Okay, well this is an example of a failure. Notice that once in a while for some reason, the application pops this overlay with some promotional message. Let's see if we can see it fail again. If not, it's okay. We already have one failure. Okay, the last test failed as well. All right, so what do we see here, right? We see this button close, we see the pop-up, and we even see that the element we're trying to interact with, which is this name input field, is covered by a div with class toast container. So let's open the dev tools. And if you have a situation where it's very obvious that the application is live and that you can close this container by clicking, right? Because it's a live application and it's closing the toast, then you're lucky because then you can inspect how the application remembers that it's shown that pop-up message. So we can look at the application, right? We can look at cookies. We can look at the storage, okay? We can look at the local storage and we can see this high toast entry in our local storage. And it says true. If you don't have uh, access to the live application at the moment of failure and you cannot ask the developer how do they actually prevent the pop-up message from opening. Maybe it fails somewhere on CI and all you have is access to let's say test replay or to the error screenshot like, like let's say this case right so it failed at some point before uh, the tests are not running well go to the dump snapshot and at least inspect the container that pops up and it has those container and maybe you can go into application code and do a search is there some place in application code that deals with a container so it's right here notice when you click the close toast button it sets the local storage item and when it loads it gets it back okay so what does it mean for us and how can we fix the test Every Cypress test is isolated, that means it clears the storage and visits the page. So if we want to prevent that container from showing up, we have to set a local storage item. So we can copy this and right before we do this, we can uh, set the item. Now this relies on the fact that our big window, our iframe and our spec iframe all share the same domain. So they share the local storage. So if we set the local storage synchronously before all the commands are queued and executed, the application will see this item again and again, right? And if we open the dev tools and look at the console, in this case, I am printing a local storage height toast that it reads. Okay, but it kind of hides it right here. So what I like doing, in my test, instead of just setting it uh, synchronously so it's not visible, I like wrapping the local storage and then instead of calling the method, I'm using Cypress invoke command and I'm invoking this method by name and I'm passing the arguments. And I like doing this because then I can see the command right here and I can even open the console, click on the wrap. I can see what else the application has set there. I can invoke or well, see what the application did um, during that moment, like which particular things we uh, set in the local storage and the order in the test. So it makes it a lot clearer the sequence of operations. All right, so this was our approach to fixing that pop-up message. We figure out how the application is deciding whether to open the toast message and then we set a local storage item to prevent it from opening 
during our tests.